Well, hello everyone and thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Bloom, group publisher of Roofing Contractor and welcome to our Best of Success podcast show. It's such an honor to have with me today two incredible ladies who are involved with the Montana Roofing Contractors Association, or I guess it's probably the Montana Roofing Association, correct? I gotta make sure I get this right. Anyway, I've got Morgan Thiel and I've got Rachel Hoover. You know, I was gonna introduce and say your titles, but I think I just want you guys to, to, I'm gonna put that off on you guys. So please, uh, Morgan, and let's start with you. Sure. Tell us, tell us what are you doing with the Montana Roofing Association and what do you do for your company and how, you know, how long have you been in roofing? Yeah, I work for my family's commercial contracting company. Um, I'm third generation. Uh, I'm the project manager. We're pretty small, so we, we do a lot of it, our family in the office, but I do project paperwork start to finish. I'm up on the roof a little bit too, so. Yeah. That's so great. And yeah. so now where in Montana, I mean, Montana is a big state, but it's not, a, you know, it's not as populated as some, as like New York or some of the other states. Yeah. Where in Montana are you? Yeah, we're, we're actually on like opposite ends of the state. I'm okay. like 10 minutes from North Dakota, three hours from Canada. So far east and Rachel's over in the beautiful mountain area. I love it. Um, yeah. yeah. And Rachel, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I am Rachel Hoover and I do marketing. I'm the director of marketing at Ace Roofing, okay. based out of Bozeman. Nice. And yeah, I've been in roofing for about two years, but funny enough, my grandfather owned a roofing company in Montana um, up in Haver, and he was one of the founding members of the MRA as well. So I didn't get into roofing until a couple years ago, but okay. there's a fun history there. Yeah. Well, it sounds like your families might know each other as well yes. through, the, through the association. Yeah, that's been a very fun connection, just hearing yeah, stories about my grandfather and, and just how the Emory was founded. And, yeah. and how long have you two known history. each other then? Now for about a couple of years? A couple of years yeah. now. Okay. Yeah. I can just see I can I can just see pictures coming up where maybe you guys were at the Montana Roofing Association meetings when you were little. You're like, look, there we are yes. playing as kids. We didn't even know it. <laughs> There's some of those floating around. Yeah, I can only imagine. Yeah. Well. Um, Morgan, let's start with you. So tell me, uh, also, you know, so also, what is your involvement with the association? So you are the president, correct? I am. Okay. I, I was just voted in in January. We just had our um, Congratulations. 30, 35th annual convention and trade show in Billings, Montana this okay. January. Um, before that, I was a vice president for three years. Our vice president typically um, chairs our convention committee. Okay. So I've kind of been doing that, which has been great. Um, we, we have a convention. We do a golf tournament. Um, we started a fishing trip, actually. Jake Magalski of Ace Roofing, the yes. previous president, yep. he started this fishing trip up in beautiful Flathead area, um, and that's been a big success. So we really just try to engage with roofing contractors and suppliers in the state. We're all spread out, but when we can get together, it's great. Um, work on common goals. We've been trying to grow a little bit, reach more contractors. Um, and that's kind of our goal this year is to grow a little bit more, improve communications, really serve the area that we're trying to work with. I love it. And so, you know, and so Rachel, you're the vice president. Yes, that's right. Yeah, also voted in in January. Okay. And before that, I had been serving on the committee with Morgan for the convention. And yeah, we got to work really well together during that time. And so I'm excited to see the next couple of years. Well, that's we a big right. deal because this is the first time there's been a, a female president and a female vice president. I mean, yeah, so you're yes. gonna, you are the first female president, correct? Yes. Okay, yeah. congratulations for that too as well. Thank you. Yeah, it's been great. I think I was also the, f the first female as a officer in our association okay too, which, which has been great really we, we both went to the national women roofing day to do yes. today uh, earlier earlier this week uh -huh. um, but it's been great getting more women involved even up in montana mm -hmm. and montana's been so open to that too um they they're on board with getting more women in the workforce it's just educating and figuring out how to do it but yeah it's been a very welcoming experience for, yeah. for me likewise that's yeah. awesome so how do you think we get more women involved in the roofing industry and how do you think you'll do that through the association Rachel, let's start with you. Yeah, I mean, I never even considered roofing before I met Jake Migalski and you know, they offered me an opportunity and I had never considered the industry. So I think that there's something to be said about communicating, especially with younger people and explaining, you know, there's, there's so much potential in construction and in roofing, especially for young women. Um, but I just think getting into schools and, you know, providing opportunities, I'd love to see more of that. That's great. Yeah. And how about you? I mean, even on the roof too, I've, I've done four seasons on the roof. Um, yeah. I've had a great experience. I've had great bosses though that are responsible for a lot of that. Um, mm -hmm. At Teal Brothers, um, my dad and my uncle are the owners. They love having women on the roof. They know exactly where their strengths are. If, if one comes in, we go, yeah, we'd love to have her. They're great at detail work. Mm -hmm. um, they're really organized. Um, they just have different skill sets than men and they yeah. really complement well on the roof. So, I mean, they're very open to it and, and want women on the roof. As yeah. Possible. Yeah, you know, there's no doubt you guys are making a huge difference with I know it's going to be it's going to be fun to watch what happens with the association 
and fun as you get involved with also National Women in Roofing more. It was great that you guys were able to come to Women in Roofing Day. And um, now you said this was the 35th anniversary for the association? It was. For the convention. Okay. We've been around since 1988. Okay. We have a great history, a real legacy. We've, we've had great families and companies, generation after generation, being in here. There's some fourth generation, several third their generation groups in there but really dedicated to the mission yeah and so you were also saying that your dad had was a previous president yeah my dad Dexter Teal and my uncle Casey Teal are the owners of Teal Brothers Drifting they've been past presidents multiple times as have a lot of the members they all they take their turns they all serve in many aspects yeah um, everyone's done about everything and just a great group of people that work really well together. And so did they encourage you to kind of step in and be like, I think, you know, try this. Why don't you see what, let's see, what, how did you, how did that come about? Were they, did they kind of encourage you to do that? Or did you throw your own hat in the ring to be like, you know, I think I can make a difference here. Like, yeah. let me step in. Once I came back to work full time for our family roofing company, um, I was approached at one of our conventions actually, uh, do you want to get on the convention committee? And I, I like event planning. It's fun. Yeah. Um, so I, I enjoyed that. And then uh, at a certain point, Jake actually really encouraged me to be a uh, vice president and okay. that, that was an adventure too and just every step I felt really really good about it. it's been a good fit a lot of support um, yeah no regrets of, very encouraging they want to get as many people as involved well for sure awesome. exactly just and like getting those opportunities kind of like Rachel yeah. was saying just offering yeah. them to ladies that they don't know they're there right but I love it yeah. and Jake is such an incredible leader he is yeah and very supportive of women within our organization but I think women in roofing in general and yeah, I feel also very lucky to be surrounded by men that want to see women succeed and advance, and it's been a great experience. Well, is it, it is really exciting. We have so much more that we're going to talk to you guys about. We're going to be writing a, a really a really fun article about the two of you running the, the association, and I just wanted to. First of all, thank you for hopping on on video with me for a few minutes, so we can give all of the contractors out there listening just a little taste of what's gonna what's to come because there's a lot more to both each of your stories. So thank you so much for joining me today, so we can we can uh, you know give a little teaser for what's to come. But uh, if anybody is in Montana and they want to find out more about the Montana Roofing Association, where do they go? What's the website? Our website is montanaroofers.org. You can find out about our events, becoming a member, what we do, if you need a roofer. Yeah. <laughs> all, our, all the best are on there. So Absolutely. Yes. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Again, yes, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you, Joe. And to everybody listening, uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions for us, it's roofingcontractor.com. And while you're there, make sure you sign up for all our free content. It's free to sign up for our e-news, our website. Also, please follow us on all our social media channels so you can stay up to date in all the great interviews we're doing like we are today with Morgan and Rachel. But most importantly, stay safe and healthy, and we can't wait to talk to you soon. Thank you guys so much again. Thanks, Thanks for Joe. having us.